are you? What do you want? the end of Stanfield. Yeah, and the girl, too, which is not so good for us. I'd better radio Barnett. Yeah. Raise the boss. Well, Stanfield's while driving must have wrecked the radio. Hang on, boy. You make the plane wreck. It'll float us for a while. We got to get to town and check with Barnett. How do you feel? I'm all right. All right. Are you all right, Gloria? <laughs> Look, there's someone coming. certainly grateful to you, fellas. I wonder if you'd mind putting us on shore. We'd like to know who you are and what you were doing in that plane. <laughs> well, that's too long a story. My name's Stanfield. I'm an engineer, and I'm willing to pay you. All right. The only reward we want is if you forget about seeing it. You get me? I get you. I've forgotten already. Gentlemen, I'm sorry to keep you waiting, but my secretary is trying to get in touch with Mr. McDonald now. So until we either hear from him or it may be him now. Yeah. I've just phoned the Tribune office again, Mr. Barnett, and they say they've had no word from Mr. McDonald. You haven't been able to get in touch with him any place, huh? All right, Denny. Well, gentlemen, I'm sorry he hasn't had any success. So in the absence of both McDonald and Stanfield, the meeting will have to be postponed. Certainly. Stanfield McDonald hold a controlling interest in Tribune shares. 
And is that not here in person or by proxy? Why? Well, I shall endeavor to have their proxies at the adjourned meeting. Well, I'll be seeing you later. Thank you for coming over. I'm sorry, right. man. Put you Goodbye. off. Goodbye. 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 See you later. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. on thin ice, Barnett, holding a man like McDonald a prisoner. So I had to do it. I was playing for time. But once I get control of the Tribune, I won't have to worry about McDonald nor anyone else. Secure another plane. Try to get to McDonald on the island. But the meeting at Farland's office will be over. Yeah, that's true. We'll have to find Van Dorn, think of a way to rescue McDonald before they can force him to sell him his stock or give them his proxy. It's Van Dorn. Van Dorn! Van Dorn, I lost your vanishing ray in the ocean. Don't worry. I have another at the laboratory. Oh, you have? Well, what brought you here? I followed you. That was a terrific crash. And a lucky escape. I know. Where were you going in that plane? To Frisbee Island? What for? Barnett's men are holding McDonald prisoner there. Let's get to town. I'll tell you about it on the way. Well, let's put dry clothes on before we do anything else. Any word from Dorgan about his prisoner? Not yet, sir. Well, get him on the radio. I'll wait. What are you doing here? Why aren't you with Dorgan? Stanfield got our plane away from us. Headed for the island, but crashed in the sea. Stanfield? Drowned? Was... Was he alone? No, sir. That girl was with him. Oh. Gloria... We couldn't help it, sir. Something went wrong with the plane, and they fell a half a mile offshore. Get Dorgan. Tell him to blindfold McDonald and release him on the mainland. What about the Tribune chair, sir? Do as you're told. Number 17. Calling 21. Number 17. Chief's hit hard. I wonder what this dame was to him. Dorgan, on its orders. You're too. Well, much as I hate to do it, we've got to secure a police airplane. Fly to the island and make them release McDonald. You leave this to me. I have a way of yes. making. Yes, I know, Professor. I know your way, but we don't want to murder anybody. Please don't call the police, Stanley. I'll go and talk with Father. <laughs> Galleys of Mr. McDonald's uh, disappearance. Why, Mr. McDonald, here's the flesh. All right. We'll kill that story now. But, Mr. McDonald... Never mind. Get the Van Dorn lab on the phone. I'm sorry, Gloria, but seeing your father's not going to do any good, I believe that McDonald's life is in danger at this very moment. Hello? Yes? This is Van Dorn. What's that? It's McDonald. He wants to talk to you. Yes, McDonald. Let's not discuss it over the phone. Come to my office as soon as you can. Well, well, yes. Yes, I'll start at once. Where is he? Is he safe? Safe in his own office. Come on, Gloria, we must hurry. Wait a minute. Oh, yes, you have the vanishing ray. Oh, yes, but I won't need it. Oh, you will always need it. And if I don't hear from you within an hour, I'll start looking for you. All right, Professor. And don't let those crooks pay you another visit. They'd like to get their hands on that stock of mine. And I'll be ready for them if they come.
perhaps a little added precaution. Gloria insists upon trying to reason with her father. I'm sorry to have to say this, Miss Grant, but I don't think you could influence your father for the best. Barnett is ruthless in his desire for power. He realizes that with the Tribune silence, he could rule the state from one end to the other. Nevertheless, I'm going to try. That's what I'm in this fight for, to try to save him from himself. Well, I'm not going to let you go alone. Stanfield, don't you go. Once he gets his hands on you... Well, there's no danger of that. He won't even know I'm there. What do you mean? Wait a minute, I'll show you. What's happened? Here I am. The vanishing ray. A device that Van Dorn and I are working on. And you, a newspaper woman, overlooked a scoop like that. It's not for publication, McDonald. I want to keep it a secret. It's a powerful weapon with which to fight Barnett's crowd. You'll be the first to know about it when it's ready for the public. Now, I'll get my stock out of Van Dorn's safe and put it in the bank with yours. Good idea. Goodbye, McDonald, and wish us luck. Barnett's daughter. Now, Mr. Crooks, one foot on that mat, and... Central, 7,000. Hello, McDonald, Van Dorn speaking. Are Stanfield and Gloria there? I know they're not here. Stanfield and Miss Grant went to Barnett's office against my advice. Oh, the young idiots. I warned them not to go there. This is lovely. He sent for me. Now he won't see me. Well, he hasn't seen anyone since Kent told him the girl was killed. Mr. Barnett in? Why, uh, uh, yes, miss. I I'll announce you. I'll announce myself. that I was drowned? I haven't you to thank for the fact that I was not, Father. I gave positive orders that you were not to be hurt. Oh, I'm glad you're safe. And I'll see that you're not endangered again. But as for Stanfield, who got you into all this... Wait a minute, Father. I came to make terms of peace. On Stanfield's account? No, on yours. I can take care of myself. You can't. You defied the law too long. And in Stanley Stanfield, you've met a man with a determination and facilities to block every plot you make. 
Oh, Father, surely there must be left in you some trace of the man my mother married. Oh, Glory, I refuse to listen to you. Wait. I want to think. wonder how the girl's getting along with the boss. Don't ask me. Down and tell Stroud the girl's on the way. Uh -huh. All right. I'll see him. And if his terms are reasonable, why... I'm afraid you won't thank him so. Laurie, I want to please you. And I may agree with him for your sake. When are you going to see him again? Right away, Father. I'll hurry. Goodbye. Goodbye. saying it, he was sending a Morse code message to his men in the other room. You mean that he's... Yes, I'm sorry, dear. There are men downstairs waiting to follow you. Now, come on. There's a rear stairway here that leads us into the alley. We'll go that way. Sure she's alive. Stanfield, too, most likely. Keep your eyes on the entrance. She'll lead us to him. What are you fellas doing here? Why didn't you follow that girl? Haven't seen her. She hasn't come out yet. What do you mean you haven't seen her? She left the building five minutes ago. We did not see her, and she hasn't left the building. Where now, Sandy? We're going to Van Dorn's and get my Tribune chairs and put them in the bank. McDonald advised. Where's Stanfield? I... I don't know. Why, who are you? What do you want? I want Stanfield. He's not here. Don't lie to me. Don't move. This ray destroys every living thing it touches. Unless you produce him in five minutes, in five minutes, you'll burn. I tell you, Stanfield isn't here. This ray destroys every living cell it contacts. Remember... <laughs> before he leaves. He's certainly very cautious. You can't blame him with a place like this. I'll take off the vanishing ray and then I'll go in the vault and get those Tribune chairs. And you can remember the extra combination. 